And uh, I think that one shield's about to break. Uh-oh. <gasps> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. There goes the drill. Yep, that was right through. YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Solar Smash, and we are once again ready to murder everybody in the world. So, there's some stuff from the new update that we haven't quite covered yet. Uh, one including something that actually makes it to where you can't destroy the planet. We have a force field. I don't know how effective this thing is, but we are definitely going to test it here today. So, let's say we want to put one over the good old USA. What happens here? Oh, so it just kind of spawns in and then it turns around and okay. How good is this? Does this work? Hold on, let's go ahead and get mm, let's get this bad boy here. All right, launch this in. Uh, what if it just goes below the force field? Oh, and here we go. How long does this force field last? I hope it doesn't go down at the last moment. Wait for it. Oh, that is so cool. Oh. Um,. Did somebody click the button for the force field before it was uh, good to go there? Like, we, we should have kept it up for, like, maybe an extra five seconds. Well, all of the U.S. just died because of that. Wow, that wasn't effective at all. <laughs> we'll definitely have to spawn in some more. Maybe we can cover the whole world with those. So, there's another thing that I want to do. So, there's always a lot of fighting on the world, and nobody can get along. So, you know what? We're going to divide the world amongst the different countries, but... I don't think I can divide it into that many parts. So we're going to divide it into four parts here. So let's go ahead and we're going to grab the old death laser here. And we're going to make sure it's turned up to max. And you know what? We're going to give it a friendly color. Let's give it something like, I don't know, purple? That kind of works, right? So let's go ahead and divide the world real quick. So let's go. There we go. The death laser might be a little too strong, but this is fine. So let's go down here and then we're going to cut back down. Okay, so we got the world cut basically in half right now. There we go. And then we're going to divide it this way too. So let's go. Look at that. That is beautiful. That way everybody gets a little chunk of the world and we can hopefully rebuild after this uh, massive uh, devastating incident. But this is fine. So there we go. We have divided the world. This looks great. Uh, I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, it's going to be a messy episode, folks. Also, if you're uh, enjoying Solar Smash on the channel, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you guys have any suggestions for other games, comment down below. All right. So from several updates ago, there was a little secret Easter egg with the missiles. So you could uh, here, let me spawn in the normal ones here and we're going to destroy Hawaii. There it goes. So, yeah, uh, they spawn in normal. You used to be able to change the number, though. And if you changed it to 69, like a little fleet would come in. But supposedly the numbers changed to 66 which i don't understand what that means like if it was 666 that would be a thing but 66 is kind of weird also i don't know if we can change this but we're going to turn this up to max real quick so supposedly something else happens now so let's go whoop and okay so that actually wasn't that bad it was kind of like a decent sized fleet can i spam this Oh, uh, okay. I feel like this is the same thing as the 69, but oh, I can spam this. Oh, no. Oh, geez. What the heck is happening right now? There's so many fighters. Uh, on. Let's just eat up the whole world with this. Uh, there was an achievement there, too. I like that. Uh, on. Keep spamming. Keep spamming. Keep spamming. You got to show Europe and all of them some love. Africa. <laughs> Oh, no. The North and South Pole. Hold on, let's get the South Pole some love here. There we go. All right. The uh, world population actually isn't completely gone, which is amazing. Oh, and so I'm holding this down now. They're just more and more showing up. Uh, and there's a couple places we haven't touched. Australia, you guys are going to get it too. Don't worry. There's a whole fleet coming in. Uh, this did a lot of damage to the uh, the world. <laughs> Uh, I don't think I've ever seen damage like this, though, because there's a bunch of little clusters just missing. Oh, crud. I forgot about South America. You guys aren't going to get away either. Dude, the devastation here. This actually looks really cool, and they're still coming in. 
That's incredible. All right, let's let him leave. Uh, the planet's virtually useless right now. Uh, we got to finish it off here. So let's go ahead and go. Oop. Oh, wait for it. Death beam into the sun. There we go. Let's just light this bad boy up. And we're going to finish it off here. You know, it's hard to believe this is a mobile game. And we can do stuff like this in it. By the way, I am playing on PC. It is still a mobile game, but I'm playing on the blue stacks. It's a little uh, thing or an emulator for an Android. No, there it goes. That was glorious. Ah, beautiful. So let's go ahead and move on to the next thing. I promise, folks, we're going to try to save the Earth. Uh, here eventually but i'm having too much fun with the new stuff all right so we've played with several of the new items here hold on let's go ahead and store the united states here so we've got the two different beams i don't know what these are really considered like i think this is kind of like an orbital cannon so this one fires down and it actually cuts compared to the other one which would just kind of plant itself in so say if we were to i don't know hit it right down here so this one comes down actually you can spawn in multiple Hold on. While the one's making its little cut around the, the world here, this one's actually going to plant in. I didn't know we could do multiple of these. I thought it was just one. Like, is there really a point to two of these? Oh, it's going down to the core. And it heats it up. Hold on. Oh, this is pretty. Oh, no. Oh, wait for it. Wait for it. And... Bloop. That one disappeared. The other one's going to disappear. Wait, where's the thing? Oh, the thing was still cutting through the world. So yeah, these are cool. All right, so we reset here. So I didn't know you can actually spawn in multiple of these. So hold on, let's just make these really, really strong. And I can spam this? Can I not? Oh no, why can you do this? This is pure evil. I love it. Oh no. Oh, they're just going to go into each other, I think. Like, hold on, let's send a couple on the bottom. Dude! Oh, and they're set to max here. Oh, they're going right through. Oh! That is something. So, we're gonna use these, but I also wanna use the cutter, because I feel like we can cut the world in half with that. Oh, we've melted through completely. Oh! Oh, we actually destroyed those. So, is that considered the orbital cannon? Or like an orbital death beam is probably what it should be called. It's so cool. All right, let's reset this. So I got one more I want to play with, and then we'll try to save the world here. So you've got this one, which is uh, essentially like a cutter. So can we, I guess, make it stronger? So it's set to max here. So if I spawn this in, so it's going to come in and start to cut around. So yeah. Oh, I accidentally held it down. That's my bad. Oh, and can we just spam them and have them like cut a complete hole? Oh, they blew each other up. My bad. <laughs> This is fine. Okay, so these things will cut anywhere as you point them. That's really neat. So here we go. We're working on the uh, earth here. So, oh, they're destroying each other. I should probably just line them up one after each other. So there, here comes another one. We'll put one a little over to the right, and then we'll spawn another one into the right. So they're going to get to work. That's so satisfying. Like, I love it. And it's not actually killing everybody. Oh, this is laggy. There it goes. So those are going to eat in. Beautiful. That one's starting to cut in. Are we getting a clean cut? Is it shooting through? Oh, yes. So I feel like we might need a couple more. Oh, that one's kind of angled off a little bit. Oh, let's spam in a couple more. Uh oh. This one's going to come around and meet the other ones, I think. Oh, wait. Where's that beam? Oh, that beam's starting to shoot through. Oh, that's cool looking. All right. These are working on it. There it goes. That is beautiful. Love these beams. Uh, this one cuts a little off. All right, I think it's official. I think we've cut through completely. Yeah, they're sliding through the last bit right here. Wow. So we cut the earth in half with a bunch of uh, death beams. That's a pretty clean cut. It's actually uh, starting to make it a little bit wider radius now. You know what's a miracle is the whole fact that 6 billion people are still alive? How? You know, one thing I'd like to see implemented in the future is, like, when you cut something in half, I mean, obviously, I think it would knock it a little bit out of orbit, so maybe the pieces would just separate and travel off screen. Uh, I think that would be actually really, really cool. I like that, though. You know, and for good measure, we're going to have the big 
space monster ghost thing come and just punch it. Like if it could punch one half and fling it, that'd be amazing. Oh, and he just added insult to injury. Also, everybody died now. It, it just took a little bit for the world to die. As you can see, it's charred out now. I can imagine that wasn't a very fun death. I would have preferred to been like in the direct side of the laser beam and been instantly zapped, <laughs> opposed to probably what happened up here in Canada. I'm sorry, Canada, I didn't mean to do that. I mean, I kind of did, but you know what I mean. Okay, it is time to try to save the Earth here. So we're gonna see what this uh, force field is actually effective against. Uh, so I, I don't wanna make anybody sad, but right now I'm gonna just save me because uh, I'm gonna be like that. So there we go, this should be enough. Wait, did these spawn on top of each other? Wait, is this, wait, what's gonna happen? Oh, what the heck? Wait, they're stacking. So if I were to send the drill down, what does it do? There it goes. Oh, look at that. Wait, it's drilling through the shield. No, it stopped. That's so cool. Uh, What about the super punch? Oh, let's try the worm real quick. I think it'll stop it, right? Here comes the worm. All right, so, oh, it just bounces. Oh, wait a minute. Is it gonna go around? No, 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 no. We need to save this. Also, the shield looks like it's heating up. Does it eventually pop? I mean, we saw that the <laughs> the things disappear after a while and then it uh, it lets stuff through, but wait, when's this drill gonna stop? I feel like we need to blow this drill up. Can we blow this up? Uh, no, 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 here, can we, can we explode the drill? Oh no, it's getting through. Um, folks, we're about to have a big issue here because the drill, it, it's starting to come through. Now, uh, th this is fine. Oh, no. Okay, wait, another one just popped up. Wait, why are they staying now? Seems like they disappeared. Huh. Well, let's try this thing. Hold on. Spawn in this. Okay, there's the big explosion. See, these can't get through. Uh, what do the balls do? Do they just kind of bounce off it? Oh, let's spawn in some of these. Oh, Oh! Oh, so you spawn it in and then it'll kind of bounce down and go to the next one. Okay, yep. Look at that. That's actually kind of funny. All right, let's try to spawn in a lot of these. Are any of these gonna hit? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, something's starting to collapse. Okay, so the drill made it through one. Oh, it's shifting. So it fell down in the next. Uh, I think we might've gotten Canada a little bit there. <gasps> Uh-oh. Uh, the drill's gonna get through. So the shield saved us for a little bit, but it's not a permanent protection. What about asteroids? Okay, it does well against those. What about a moon? Does the moon just bounce off? Huh? Oh, look at that. It actually made a big ding in the moon. That was cool, huh? It's spawned in a couple of these. Wait, are these eventually gonna break through? Uh-oh. Yeah, so the shields have a breaking point from what I can tell. And uh, I think that one shield's about to break. Uh-oh. <gasps> Uh-oh, uh-oh, oh no, there goes the drill. Yep, that was right through. Ooh, I mean, it worked for a little bit, right? Oh, look, the shield came back up. <laughs> so does the drill, it's just gonna come through the other side, right? This is fine. This isn't a big deal at all. I mean, we still saved some people in the US, so we've got that going for us. Oh, there's the drill. Yep, that is a pretty clean hole, I would say. <laughs> So, I mean, it worked for a little bit. What about the big lightning storm thing? Okay, we're gonna spawn in a couple more shields here. That looks good. Okay, so we're all not completely dead yet. So we've got that going for us. So let's go ahead and try the lightning thing real quick. So what does this do? Oh, yep, it definitely blocks it, but man, that's gotta be doing a lot of damage to the shield. I can't even see through this. Oh, I think we hit South America. Yep, South America's gone. It's fine. Uh, we're still here. I mean, I think, yeah, I think I'm still alive. I'm on the edge there in Texas. So does the shield block a black hole? Oh, it does. Oh, but what, wait, what happens? Oh, that is cool looking. All right, so it blocks that and does it block this? Does this spawn on the outside? Oh, it does spawn on the outside. So kind of hard to see it on that side and it's gonna punch down. Oh. Well, the uh, the big mythical ghost monster thing actually punches through the shield. Well, I mean, it was good while it lasted. I mean, we probably stared up into the sky and watched a bunch of stuff bounce off it and thought, hey, maybe we're gonna be okay. 
And then a couple things penetrated, and we're like, hey, maybe we're not going to be okay. And then a big beast came and punched a hole in it, and then we're dead. So I'm not really sure what we learned here today. Oh, boy. But anyways, that's going to wrap it up for this episode. If you guys have any suggestions for future Solar Smash, let me know down in the comment section below, and we'll see you guys next time.